It's Holly from the sewing shop, and I'm here with Mr. Lewis. And we are actually um, learning about the new style today, and who better to tell us than an educator himself? So, y'all don't want to see me, you want him. Oh, hi guys, welcome. We are here today with our newest. This is our um, next step down from our luminaire, <coughs> excuse me, which is the Stellaire machine, which has a sewing and embroidery or an embroidery only. The most impressive, of course, with the embroidery only being that it will accept a nine and a half by 14 hoop. So you have a huge embroidery space with an embroidery only machine. So if you have a great sewing machine at home and you wanted to get embroidery, what a great way to go and have a big field. Or if you want a second machine so that you can have both of them embroidering at the same time, but other embroidery machines, the hoop is so much smaller. This one still gives you the big, large work surface. The coolest thing I think on the machine is that <clears throat> now we have included in your machine interface, which as you can see is new, light blue, really easy to see, easy to read, are the apps which are downloadable for either machine, and the apps are what communicate with the, with the machine, so they can make like a little circle talk. Sounds confusing, but it's really simple. We have the app open, this is installed on an iPod, it can be on any device that can accept an app. So as long as you're able to go to iTunes or go to the Play Store and download an app in your device, you can put it on that. It's not a specific device you need to make it work. Is it okay with like the <coughs> tablets and Any things like device. that? Any <coughs> device. You can have an iPod, an iPad, you can have your Android tablets, phones, anything that will be able to download in that respect, you're able to use. Now you'll notice new, of course, is the loop. We see these markings on here are what we call registration marks. These are what the app uses, utilizes to make it talk to the machine. So the first thing we need to do is let's say we want to do an embroidery, but we want an embroidery in a specific spe place. So I want this little seahorse and I need him to be in a particular space. Well, we've taken the fabric out of the hoop and rehooped it, so this is not in proper position, and I can't tell where it's lined up. So we're gonna start by opening the app and telling it we're going to embroidery. Now, I have to just warn you guys, we are in a ballroom in a convention center, so we have huge chandeliers and bad lighting. You will not have to do this at home. Can I ask you to hold this for me? Now, normally you will just leave this on your cabinet on your work surface but it says to please hoop your fabric which we've done so now we're going to turn on the app I'm upside down sorry and then we're going to simply align our device so that it's going to line up with the hoop and so again I'm having to move mine kind of weird because of the lighting in here which is horrible for this it told me I couldn't find it because Again, there it goes, three, two, one, and now we have a capture. So what it's done is taken a photo of this, and we need the photo from here to get into there so that we can embroider, right? So we'll just slide your hoop back on, so if you'll put that on for me, we're gonna tell it to send it to the machine. And so it's gonna use Wi-Fi to send this to the machine, and then it'll tell us it was sent once it's over. So we say, okay, it's there. And on the machine, it says, then a new image was sent from the app. Do you want to update your background screen? So we say, okay. At this point, we're finished with the app and your device. You could set it to the side, and you're going to tell it okay. And voila, you're going to have on your screen what is in your hoop. It's so cool. So right now, I want to position that into that particular position. I'm going to zoom them so I can see exactly where I'm putting them and I wanna place him so that he's right there. You still have your same editing capabilities. So we're gonna rotate him, give him a little different angle in there, get his little tail position just right, and then we can move him exactly where we want him to embroider. From there, we simply go to embroider, and now it's gonna embroider our design right in that blank space. Perfect. Now that's version one, if you will, of the app. We have a second version, that is called the advanced mode. Now, 
We've already embroidered this, this is done. So we're gonna go to a, a new project per se. So this time we're gonna use our snowman sticker, the positioning marker. This time you're gonna use this as traditional. You're gonna place your sticker where you want the design to go. So I want my design dead center in that box, right? Yes. So you're gonna do that. Now, once you do that, we're gonna take the hoop off because we have to oh, do a new capture. Because okay. this is a second project, right? So we're gonna go back to the app. And then when we're in the app, we're gonna turn it now to advanced. So when we go to advanced, it's gonna say, please place your positioning sticker on your fabric, which we've done. So at this point, we're now going to tell it okay. And we're going to then do the same process and find the hoop. Now again, I am, um, we have, you know, kind of really bad lighting here. And this cable is a connection, a security cable. You don't have a cable on yours, okay? It would be Wi-Fi. This is Wi-Fi. So don't let the cable distract you. So we'll put our hoop back on the machine. And it says, let's see, what's this? And then we'll raise our foot up, get our hoop locked back in. So we're going to simply go home and pull up the whole hoop. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Almost got you there. We're going to go back, and I'm going to pull that same seahorse up, just so you guys know. This is the secondary way of doing it. Okay. And it says, do we want to send this to the machine? So we're going to send this to the machine. Again, this will be our second hooping, our second project. This is utilizing the positioning sticker. It says it's sent it. We say, okay. Again, you set this down. You're finished now. It says the new image was sent. Is it okay to update? We're going to update. It's going to move our hoop. We're going to get a new image. Well, right now, it then gives us this pop-up on the screen, and it says, is your little red LED pointer from your embroidery foot, is it on the black dot? And you can see ours is not exactly, because fabric has bubbles, fabric has, you know, it's fabric, it's smooth. So you need to yes. make sure that's aligned perfectly. So we're simply going to use our arrow keys, and you'll see it move, and it's going to get you so that you have it positioned right over the LED mark. Once it's in place, you simply tap OK, and it's going to jump back in the center. But your design is not there, and that's because we still do everything the way we've done before. In order to use your positioning marker, we have to be in embroidery. In embroidery, we go to layout, and we find what? Our snowman, right? Yes. It's going to revert to original. We say OK. Now, it wants to know, do we want to base the position of the design on any of these other markers or off the center mark, which is the default. We're gonna base ours off the center, so we simply tell it okay. And it's gonna say, I'm gonna move. And look what it did. It moved position and put my design right in place. We'll use our move the hoop out of the way so that we can get our sticker off without sticking our finger under the needle. And from this point, it is now positioned the design perfectly in that square. So easy. I mean, so it doesn't get any easier. It's so yes. cool. So that's the advanced mode. That's but your you advanced don't have mode. To go all the way in that. You could just turn it You off can just mode. do easy and move it yourself. Or if you want to use the positioning stickers so that it does the work for you, you can do it that way also. So for me, it should be the other way around. Easy should be the sticker. Right. <laughs> but who am I? So we also have in the app. Okay. because this machine still has My Design Center. So My Design Center is your auto digitizing program that's built in the machine. This gives me the capabilities to write on the screen of the machine, and as I write, it will then embroider whatever it is I write. So you can still do it the traditional way, but let's say, for example, we had embroidered that little seahorse, and now I want a quilt around him. I want a stipple around it. This is a quilt. So we'll start fresh till it all clear. Now, we're gonna go back to our app again. And it says, my design center. And it wants to know, are you gonna use something that you have in the hoop? Or maybe you have a graphic or drawing from one of your grandkids or you know something you found online, mm -hmm. coloring book. That would be the lower location. We're gonna use the first one because we're quilting around something we embroidered, right? So we'll go ahead and tap on it and it's selected. And we do want to take the hoop off again because again, this is project three. All right, All right this is a whole new project. This is a whole different process and a whole new project. So just like before, 
we're going to then find the registration. And then once we have the registration, we're gonna get it lined up. And again, my lighting in here is not the best guys. Yours will be better at home, so you wouldn't have to do all this. So there's so many things that this app can do. Perfect placement. Precise digi positioning. Yes, digitizing, basically. Well, it will get you to where you can get your graphic to that point. Okay. Oh, and see so again. transfer your artwork. Yes, ma'am. It will do exactly that. So it did catch, capture it. So now we'll put the hoop back on. Well, actually, we don't have to put the hoop on because we're going to play right now. But it's going to um, ask, do we want to send it to my design center? And we do. So we're going to send it. And once it's sent over, we're going to pull it up so that it is the background image. So we say, okay, it's in my design center. Again, we set this down. We're finished with that. And we'll go and open the graphic. It was sent to the Wi-Fi, right? So now it's always the top one that it adds it. So you so don't ever have to wonder. So the last so, thing you put, it will go to the top. Okay, all right. There's so our don't graphic. pay attention to the numbers. It's at exactly. the top, the last thing that, in order. The last thing you did is mm -hmm. gonna put it here. Well, I want to quilt in that square, say for example. I wanna put a stippling pattern in that particular square. So we're gonna go and get a shape to do that with because you have to define a space. I already know that that one's too big, so we're gonna go ahead and resize it down to get it a little smaller in size and we'll need to rotate it right because it's at an angle mm -hmm. we purposely put this in at an angle this way guys so you can see just how fluid this works and how great it is so now we can come back get it all nice and straightened out so it's perfectly lined up within our space and we can resize it if we need to but I want to fill that area with a stipple so I'm going to go and tell it I want to get a stipple or I can also use one of the over 15 beautiful patterns to quilt with that are inside the machine. So we've got all these great patterns to quilt with. Or embroider, or use this fill patterns, or however I choose. So it's got great patterns. And I'm gonna tell it to use what I call the crack dice pattern. And we're gonna make sure that it's selected, tap inside, and we're gonna get a chance to see what it's gonna look like. And now it's gonna showcase our stitches. I purposely left the black box so you guys can see it lines up exactly and it's going to quilt right in that square now. So if we couldn't, so right now, just to be clear, we took the picture and all it is is our background image. It is our background image, so but what if we wanted to digitize the picture? Well, and then we can, if we couldn't see it very clearly. Oh, you can always make that darker so oh, you can okay. really highlight it. Now at this point it's dark so much that the embroidery has disappeared. However, we can tell it, no, I don't want the background, I just want to see the stitching, or you have every degree in between so that you can adjust this sort of for your lighting, for your eyesight, so that it's comfortable for you. Now, I want to use a graphic that I have, say for example, to digitize in my design center. So, I'm going to tell this all clear. We're actually going to have a whole new fresh slate, right? Okay. So, instead of using a scanning board to scan a graphic, we could still get it from a USB if we wanted to, but we're going to use the fourth icon. Well, it's the fourth uh, possibility in the app, but it's the third icon down. And this is going to search for a graphic you've already stored. So, as opposed to scanning, you're going to take a picture with your device and then it'll find that picture to put it in and import it. We've used Mickey Mouse that we did earlier, so we'll just grab him. There's so many neat things inside. Yes. So now we have Mickey Mouse. And so I want to use the outline of Mickey Mouse as my um, graphic to maybe do an applique with or quilt with, right? This is maybe from a coloring book. Okay. So the, instead of using this and putting this as if it were a coloring book or something on a scan board, you simply take a picture. So in your device, you're going to go to your camera and just take a photograph. So whatever your device camera is, you're just going to use that. And then you're going to go back to the app. So you go in the app and it says, oh, look, there's your Mickey. So we'll take it and select it. And it wants to know, do we want to send this to the machine? So we do. So we're going to send it over to my design center, and it's going to send it to the machine. 
Again, once it's sent, we can set the device over to the side because the information is now on the machine and everything we want to do is going to be on the machine. It's in the Wi-Fi. Again, it's always the top one. Mm -hmm. So we'll select it and pull it up. This will be a background image that we can use to do a drawing around, a graph around. We can tell it to do all kind of fill stitches. We can even tell it to color it in, even though this one's already colored. We can tell it to color it in if we want to. So there's my Mickey. I want him to become an applique, so I need to trace around him. So I'm simply going to turn on my sewing pencil. I'm going to use my regular double straight line. And then all I'm going to do is trace around him. Now, you would use a stylus for precision and accuracy. So you guys will have to excuse my drawing around my finger with my finger. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Well, I just want you to get an idea of how easy this is and how fast it can go. And we'll come around and meet them. And so now I'm going to see what it looks like. So now I'm going to go next. And there's going to be my Mickey Mouse applique. Lovely. Perfect. Quick, fast, easy. The app is wonderful. We also have an additional app that will work with either our Luminaire or any of our Stellar machines. And that is going to be the new monitoring app. The new monitoring app no is going to allow, yeah, it's cool. In and the monitoring app, it's a free download and, it's and free. It's on your phone. And it'll go into your same device. Awesome. And so if you want to know, do I have time to, in between colors, go start a load in the wash? Or I want to go barbecue. I want to go, you know, get something done. Or I want to go have a martini. You could do any of that. Because the app will tell you what color you're on, how long it takes, the number of stitches, if the thread should break, if you need to replace the bobbin, all of that's going to appear on the screen of so your it app. it keeps you on track it when you run you off and, and, and get side Yeah, you get busy, you got a phone call, and you're like, oh, do I, how much time do I, do I gotta go change the color? Mm -hmm. The app is going to tell you. And that's called our, my, uh, it's called our Stitch app, a Stitch monitoring app. Mm -hmm. So that app will also work with this machine, but it is also going to be part of the upgrade for your Luminaire machines. Okay, perfect. Very fun, very easy, very cool, lots of features. I love this machine, guys, and I think you're going to love it, too. It's really well, great. We're very excited to get home and play with it. And thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us. I'm so happy to, and you're going to have as much fun with this as I do because it's just so easy. Yes. So easy. Thank you, guys. And again, if you have any questions, 318-869-1739. Thank you.